There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Great location, history, workforce, innovation. Is that what you think of when you hear the words Wheeling, West Virginia? Well, here's the real legacy of Wheeling. We were the first gateway to the West. We became a hub of the Industrial Revolution. We helped build the steel industry on our river, the coal industry in our hills. We became a haven for business innovation and some of the wealthiest business developers on the planet. Wheeling, West Virginia helped move the country forward. And what about now? There's a new Wheeling, one that's inviting to new and growing companies and creating jobs. It's a whole new approach, an innovative transition from an industrial-centered economy to one that brings together the best in low overhead economic development, one that's attracting businesses with a global reach, creating new offices out of structures long forgotten, building a new energy sector revolution, and a thriving high-tech hub. A city that has turned a declining riverfront into a vibrant landmark. Building resorts and parks on iconic areas while maintaining historic integrity. Developing empty hillsides, lots, and fields into retail, educational, and healthcare destinations. Reducing tax burdens and nurturing both small and large businesses. Once again, Wheeling is innovating, transforming, and most of all, inviting the world to live, work, and play in one of the safest cities in the U.S. What is it about this Wheeling metro area that's so inviting? Take a moment and explore. Wheeling does offer a pro-business environment, but also a pleasing blend of history, culture, fine dining, metropolitan features found both here and in our neighboring cities, outdoor recreation, and annual festivals, all guaranteed to provide you with true American hospitality. Wheeling is a riverfront city where the bluegrass meets jazz, blues, rock, and our own symphony. We are the heart of a vibrant metropolitan tri-state area with neighboring Ohio and Pennsylvania, a region of over more than 200,000 people making us culturally alive and diverse. Located on the I-70 corridor between Pittsburgh and Columbus, Wheeling is home to a safe, comfortable lifestyle with big city amenities not found in most small towns, including Broadway shows and the historic Capitol Theater. That's why so many are saying we offer more. More accessibility, more centralized location, more cost savings for business, more fun with museums, shopping, nightlife, and a huge music scene. More restaurants, offering everything from our own brand of fish and our own style of pizza to great local eateries and fine gourmet dining. More development and growth. A revitalized riverfront, unique shopping at our center market and the highlands. State-of-the-art government buildings, global operations centers, casinos, resorts, more technology, more excellent schools more excellent health care, more sports, like our own pro hockey team, the Wheeling Nailers, and a short ride to the Pittsburgh Steelers, Penguins, and Pirates. And to top it off, Wheeling is more appealing, recognized as one of the most livable small metros in the country. It all adds up to an energetic and welcoming city. Modern, progressive, and moving forward again, so now you know. Go ahead, enjoy the Wheeling Metro. Move yourself or a business here. Find a site and start or grow a company here. Explore our excellent funding sources and tax incentives. Learn about our business resources and live in the comfort, safety, and low-cost environment right here in the center of America. Wheeling, a city that's growing, transforming, innovating, inviting, and a city dedicated to making things happen for you. I'm John Corbett, and Wheeling is the place I call home.
there are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Welcome back, folks. It's game number two, the one we've been waiting for. The Cardinal men will host the number four rated team in all the land. The Hilltoppers of West Liberty and uh, Reese, quite unusual. Cardinals going for the sweep this year. Cardinals going for the sweep. Really, and Jesuit really been on a run, won 13 or 14 games, and uh, playing a really high level of basketball right now. We expect a really good contest here today. Yes, yeah, simply the two hottest teams in all the Mountain East Conference. Heck, maybe in all the land. Yeah, in all the land, possibly. Uh, West Liberty has only met defeat twice. Fairmont took them down, down in the Fairmont, and Cardinals went up to West Liberty and put an unusual home loss on West Liberty. And what was really unusual about it, Cardinals led by 31 early in the second half. So it was a beat down by the Cardinals. But as you would expect, West Liberty has not lost since that day. They're ranked number four. Obviously going to host probably the uh, Eastern Region Championships here in a couple weeks. So Jesuit also appearing in those yep. national rankings, 10th in the East. So big game here for the Cardinals. Yeah. 10th in the region. 10th in the uh, region need to get up a couple spots. And uh, you know, when you look at those rankings, a lot of teams in front of us that we've knocked off, Glenville, Concord, Fairmont, all teams that we've beat sitting right up here in front of us today would go a long way towards helping move up. Of course, historically, we found that those national rankings don't mean a whole lot till you come down to that last week after tournament time. And there's only one uh, regional ranking that counts. And that's the final one. And as we mentioned, Jesuit has defeated some of those teams. Uh, we've talked all season long. Jesuit a little shorthanded in the early season. Justin Prince, one of our star players, uh, was out early. Took a while rounding into form, and we've had uh, injuries seem like throughout the campaign. Uh, starters have sat out virtually every game, but Jesuit really on a roll as of late. Have avenged uh, many of those defeats, and uh, as we said, what would be sweeter than another victory over West Liberty, which could really help go a long ways towards ensuring an NCAA regional berth. Yeah, and let's face it, at the end of the day, these two teams just don't like each other. Yeah. And uh, that brings a lot of excitement to a game like this. Yeah, and it's really neat because the crowd has turned out here at the McDonough Center, as you would expect, jam-packed, whether they play it at West Liberty or Wheeling, it's always a full house and a great afternoon for basketball. we got to give our kudos to Jim Crutchfield and West Liberty, just been the premier program in the United States of America for the last eight or nine years, actually. But the last four years, they've appeared in the uh, – Elite Eight came up just a little short last year. National interrupts Reese, and uh, they haven't tasted too many defeats in the last 10 years. Happy to say the Cardinals have laid about seven on them, so uh, hopefully there'll, there'll be another one here this afternoon. Yeah, really, again, really expecting a heck of a game here today. Uh, and I'll tell you, I was in the locker room pregame listening to Coach Sancom's speech. I was ready to lace them up and come out. Dan did a great job. Uh, talked to some of the players. Uh, I think these guys have kind of a, a, a quiet focus about them right now. So really looking for them to come out here and play well. And if they don't, I'm going to go down there at halftime and uh, change their attitudes. Okay, that being said, we'll be back in one moment with the starting lineup. Trey Goddard for Washington, Maryland, business management. Pat Mose, Springfield, Virginia, business. Tim Goff from Burton, Ohio, marketing. Sam Peduto, Swickley, Pennsylvania, education. Christopher Canton, Baltimore, Maryland, sports management. Mark Winters, New Martinsville, West Virginia, business. 
Steve Bridgman, Lancaster, Ohio. Education. Chase Lawson, Sardinia, Ohio. Engineering. Charles Barn, Richwood, West Virginia. Business Finance. Aaron Dinnerman, Smithsburg, Maryland. Accounting. Nick Williams, Sandusky, Ohio. Biology. Desi Wiseman, Waldorf, Maryland. Engineering. Moo Young Lim, Menden, Utah. Marketing. Justin Fritz, Menor, Ohio. Finance. Jordan Fair, Columbus, Ohio. Communication Studies. Ewa Hoffman, Baltimore, Maryland. Business. Kyle Ritz, Cambridge, Ohio. Engineering. My name is Eric Seifert. I'm from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. My major is business finance. Matt Stewart, Pittsburgh, engineering. TJ Payne, Richmond, Virginia, pre-med. Joe Peduto, Strictly, Pennsylvania, accounting. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Back at the McDonough Center, senior day activities ending up here, and uh, nice touch there. All the players that accompanied Moo out to midcourt, of course. 
Aaron Dennerman and Steve Bridgman, other seniors who will be graduating this year. Let's get to the starting lineups. First for the 24 and two Hilltoppers of West Silver University. 6'3 junior from Easton, Pennsylvania. Number one, Joe Lococo. 6'2 sophomore from Parker, West Virginia. Number four, Devin Hohn. 6'7 junior from Berlin, Ohio. The leading scorer for the Toppers at 24 points a game. Number five, Seeger Bonifant. A 6'4 senior from Sydney, Australia. Number 12, Indiana Faithful. And rounding out the starting lineup, senior veteran 6'4 from West Memphis, Pennsylvania. He's number 13, C.J. Hester. The Toppers are coached by Mr. Jim Crushfield in his 11th year. The Jesuit Cardinals will go with a 6'5 freshman from Springfield, Virginia. Number two, Pat Mose. Justin Fritz, 6'1 junior guard from Metro, Ohio. Six foot senior, excuse me, 6'6 freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Number 24, Haywood Highsmith. A 6'7 sophomore from Cambridge, Ohio, Cal Ritz. And rounding out the starting lineup, Eric Seifer, the 6'4 junior from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. The Cardinals are coached by Mr. Danny Sencom. And Reese, the stage has been set. Let's play some basketball. Yeah, getting through the starting lineups here on the floor, players being announced, and uh, I'm sure the players are ready to get done with the fanfare, and let's get this game going. Yeah, we mentioned for the folks at home, if you're not familiar with West Liberty, uh, simply the premier program in the United States the last few years, and uh, it always, always gives us great pleasure we can knock them off, huh, Reese? Absolutely, I'd be happy to knock them off if they roll in 22, so, you know, they don't have to, they don't have to win just for us, but, uh, yeah, certainly looking forward. Been a lot of big games here in this facility and uh, have gone back and forth through the years. Got a tweet or a, a message from uh, former coach Jay DeFruccio and he sent it to his daughter Lucy actually. And he sent it to me this morning. He mentioned 10 years ago on this very court, Terrence Bradley went nuts and uh, we defeat him by 20 some odd points later at the uh, conference tournament back in 2005. We also knocked them off by about a 30 point margin to uh, advance to the NCAA tournament. So uh, and that was the, fir the first and only time in school history that we have won the conference tournament championship. Absolutely. So uh, we're yeah, just that about was a set. Team there. We're just about set to get the Cardinals announced here. And we said it's a full house. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rock the cage. <laughs> What's Billy doing? He's making an appearance on the court, huh? Like the showman here, Bill DeFabio from WKKX. You gotta love him, buddy. How about this freshman? He's 6'6. He's also there at the Baltimore Maryland. Haywood Highsmith getting the yeah. start again. Yeah. You know, Tim Goff has been a regular starter. Yeah. Got hurt a few games ago down at Fairmont. Haywood moves into the starting lineup and, and has been playing really great. Of course, here's the guy that's been steady Eddie all season long. Kyle Ritz. You can pretty much count on him double figure points and seven or eight rebounds a game. He's been solid throughout, so. Willisburg, Ohio is the home of this comeback. He's a six one junior guard. It's coming out on the floor. That worked out pretty nice. <laughs> Seifert was announced in there. <laughs> Justin. Let's go to Fabio's confused. He ran out to not sure what to do. Nonetheless, the Cardinals are excited. The Hilltoppers are ready, and we're going to play some basketball. So the stage has been set. Two of the hottest teams in the Mountain East Conference and probably in the United States of America set to go at it head-to-head -head here in the season finale. Let's be honest, Reese, this game is really more for bragging rights than anything. Yeah, it is. Both teams obviously well set. I, I tell you, really, West Liberty more on the line than anybody probably because of their national ranking. Yeah. You know, for Wheeling, yeah, an opportunity to, to, to help themselves in the in these region. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, with the last couple wins they've had and a, and, uh, a good tournament showing could, could handle that for them anyways. But uh, this is a game you want to come out and win no matter what. So Bonifine and Ritz are in the center circle. Referee Jeff O'Malley ready to do the toss. And we're finally ready underway. The ball here. Let's look at controls the tip off. Yeah, this is Lococo. He transferred from Shippensburg. 20 point a gamer last point a gamer last year for Shippensburg. 
Well, we all know about the, the scoring ability of West Liberty, and uh, you know they run this weave offense, a yeah. lot of motion. Yeah, 103 points per game. There's a deep shot from outside, and Lococo hits the three ball. You'll see full court pressure throughout by the toppers. That is their game. You know, it's funny because it really killed him with that pressure last last game. Yeah, we scored off it at will. Interesting to see how that'll play out. And we see after the first made bucket that West Liberty did not press. Instead, dropped back, and here's a quick turnover. Cardinals with the turnover. Devin Hone going to attack the basket. He'll take it all the way. And here we see this pressure. Just kind of token pressure, just back it yeah, off. Yeah, not coming full strength on that press, so it'll be interesting. Maybe they've adjusted their strategy for yeah, the day. Maybe they game. learned something last game, I, you know. Fritz. Fritz. Three ball. <laughs> Not sure who the, who the side was to, but Fritz uh, definitely fired up here tonight. Devin Hone, faithful, is going to attack the basket. He'll kick it back out. Hester with the three ball. Good mark, and there's Highsmith inside. Cardinals looking to run. And head to Mose, and you know where he's going. Mose right to the hoop. We're going to have a ball. Count it! For the hoop. Two. I'll tell you, to say Pat Mose is excited is a definite understatement, Maurice. Well, Pat Mose, a freshman, had a, you know, had a good game up at West Liberty. I think he's just one of these kids that lives for the moment, loves this environment, and uh, is just definitely fired up here tonight. That foul was on C.J. Hester, his first. So Mose gets the three-point play. Cardinals with the early lead here. A couple of three-pointers, one the old-fashioned way. Hester going to take it in. That's a travel. Well, they're going to call yeah. foul low on Ritz. Coach Anko not happy yeah. about the call. Yep. Looked like pretty good defense, but uh, foul nonetheless. And that foul's whistled on Cal Ritz. Hone with the baseline jumper. <laughs> Inbounds here to see for the get where somebody just kind of, here now, comes a little bit of that now trap. Now come with the double team. Jose. Highsmith, foul line jumper. Turnaround. Gets the roll here with Highsmith, starts off with a little jumper. So we're going back and forth here in the area action. This is Lacoco with the basketball. Bonifant yeah. keeping it. Right on. there is the matchup everybody wants to watch. Bonifant and Seifert, right? Yeah. Seifert did a heck of a job on him up at West Liberty, held him well below his average. And Highsmith with the rebound. Cardinals off and running. Fritz going to take it to the basket. Fouled hard. He'll go to the line for a pair. Right now, you gotta like the way the Cardinals are attacking the basket, Reese. Yeah, we don't judge, but you know, one of those rare teams that can actually run with West Liberty, right? And I think that's why we're seeing them drop out of that pressure here because we only just really, really attacked it last, last game. I know these stats can't hold up, but two and a half minutes in, I looked down at the shooting stats for Wheeling Jesuit. 100%, 100%, 100%. We'd like to keep that going, Reese. I don't so. know that that's realistic, but I'll take it while we get it. So Hester. Great double team, double. Jose. Gonna be an errant pass, Go turnover. On, on. Nice defensive pressure by the Cardinals. Great turnout here today at the McDonough Center. And, uh, yeah, great crowd. Students uh, away on spring break started this week, so. Student section still pretty full though, Reese. That's student a, section there, but not quite as loud and as raucous as we may be used to for this game, for no. sure. Fritz thought about Fritz the three. gets him in the air. Ah, it's gonna be yeah. a good pass there. I think Richard went ahead and just took that to the bucket. Lococo thought about the three. And pass inside. Hester off the mark. Kyle Ritz comes out with that rebound. Yeah, Jesuit doing a nice job on the defensive glass. One and done. Seifer going to attack the lane. He'll take it up. Topper, so. We got a stoppage in play. So five-point Cardinal advantage. We've played a little over three minutes. Turnover, great save, Jose, oh, but I'll give it right, it right back, back to West Liberty. 
Look Arnold. ahead to Fritz. Fritz. Oh, he stumbled. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Fritz Tough. was out in front of the crowd and he slides all and the way back into the wall. Unfortunately, he's down. Yeah, he's, he, I don't know if he got hung up and then just slid all the way back into that brick wall. You know, he was losing his footing. Unfortunately, out in front would have been an easy bucket. Yeah. I'm saying that was a long slide to reach. That's about 30 feet. I could never go fast <laughs> enough to slide that far. Huh? Gravity and friction stop me. I hear you, brother. Except maybe a bar slide up at the rat. <laughs> uh, John Book would have had me sliding down the bar. The rebound secured by Ritz. Ahead to Mose, and here's Mose in the open court. Fritz from the corner, three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Cardinals off and rolling here, 15-7 in the early going. And this may be as animated as I've ever seen Justin Fritz doing a game. And we're going to have a player control foul. Whistled on the toppers. Number 20, Zach Kirkbride picks up the foul. Foul is on number 20. we got a quick holding foul here. <laughs> you know, and this is the one thing over the years, quite frankly, that, that, that a lot of coaches and a lot of people who watch West Liberty say. They put their hands all over you, and the refs don't call it. And when you see them struggle, is in those games where refs do call it. Yeah, like right there, 11 just grabbed Mose again. But, uh, you know, you're going to call it every play. You know, it'll kill the game, but... Yeah. Got to get it across the timeline. There we go. Grits, pull up. Off to Mark Strong. That's going to stay. Yep. Yes, off sir. 11. Nice hustle by Osmond keeping that ball alive. I tell you what, both coaches working the referee so hard right now. Yeah, yeah. they're both earning <laughs> their money. You think those guys don't want to win this game bad? Absolutely. Seifert three. He's open. Oh, in and out. Cal Ritz hits the floor, and he's, yeah. he's <laughs> Gross slow bucket. to get up, huh? Come down with that rebound. Arnold in the lane. Boy, how about that defense? Jump, Jump ball, ball call. We'll go to Wheeling Jesuit. Nice defense effort by Justin Fritz. Look at this lead pass ahead to Highsmith. And he Osmith finishes. finishes the play. So Jesuit with a 10-point lead. We've yet to play five minutes. This is Lamberti with a basketball. All right, quick step out by Ritz. Yeah, Grossenbacher with a nice take to the basket. Coach Janko not happy about that play at all. Here comes the trap. See for a nice job of beating the defense. Here they come Mose in the attack. Mose gets He's hit. They're going to call it on the floor. So we'll head to immediate timeout. Cardinals lead by eight. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports here we're just about ready Jesuit with a 17-9 advantage and uh, really like the way the Cardinals are attacking the basket Reese yeah really Jesuit really getting up and down the floor right now and attacking uh, attacking West Liberty's defense and uh, we've got the athletes to do it again you know Pat Mose Highsmith Seifert Fritz these guys can can attack and get to the bucket well, I've always said if you're gonna press you need to make teams pay and uh, Jesuit certainly did that in the first encounter up at West Liberty on the hilltop. So Eric Seifer will trigger it in. 
See if we put it top of the pan here. Fritz. Last <laughs> minute so long, just off the mark with the little left-handed hook. I can't keep track of who West yeah. Liberty has in or seven five at a time. Indiana faithful with the three ball. So a big triple there by Faithful. The other thing I like that Wheeling does against this press, they take their time. They make sure that they have everybody where they want them. Justin Fritz brings the ball in. There's no rush. And uh, I think it almost hurts West Liberty and that they're used to like that feeding frenzy that gets going and forcing you into mistakes. Yeah, you don't need to help their cause. Mose down a lane. Wow. Anyway. Hester are going to be fouled on the attempt. Are they going to get Ritz with his second foul or no? We'll wait for the indication. Looks like it's going to be on Pat Jose, number two. Jose, his first. His first, yes. So CJ Hester at the line. That first game, West Liv was anemic from the foul line. So oh. let's hope they brought more of it down here today. You see Matty Stewart now into the game here for Wheeling Judge with first sub for Wheeling off the bench. Seifert doing yeah. a nice job of bringing the double team to him. Yep, waits for him to get there, gets it off to Mose. Here's the skip, Fritz. <laughs> Fritz will take the layup. Nice the reverse. up and under. <laughs> So Fritz off to a great start here. Yeah, I talked to Fritz for a minute in the hallway downstairs before the game, and uh, he was walking around with his headphones on, and he just had a kind of quiet confidence. I Smith with a big rebound. And he has come out here and show it tonight, reminding people that just a couple short years ago, he was Mr. Ohio. <laughs> Seifert will attack the basket, kick it back out. Fritz, three ball. Yes! yes. So Sorry, Ben, I got a little excited. Hey, get excited as you want, brother. Fritz with the three ball and okay, we've seen Fritz put up some numbers and some halves, and here's another call on West Liberty. Foul is on number five, Bonifant. So Seager Bonifant, that's six fouls on the topper. So and you know Bonifant got into trouble in the first game as well. Foul trouble up there kept him on the bench a lot of the game. Here comes the quick double team, and you can see that quick. Jesuit beats it, now it's four on three, and here comes Mose. Mose He's all the way grabbed to and, and finishes. Score the hoop. And, and right now, really, Jesuit just feels as though they cannot be stopped, and you can feel oh. it. They are just going right at West Liberty. Mose will shoot one from the line. So Mose with the three-point play. Cardinals on top by 12. Got to continue to defend. Matt Stewart steps up. Three ball, Lococo. Knocks it down. Yeah. Again, you see Wheeling really just taking their time, very deliberate against this press. There's a kick. This second. Thank you, Bill Fabio, for the update. You know, and the thing is, Seifert's so big and strong playing the point guard, can just throw right over top of that pressure. Smith from the corner. Smith with the three ball. 12 point Cardinal advantage. Owned from outside. <laughs> it's a shootout right now. Yes, it is. Huh? I'll tell you, Devin Hone didn't hesitate. As I said, going in, this had all the potential for just Matt a, Stort, a, a nice heck job of a game. coming down and relieving pressure.
Jose with a pull up. Yes. Yes. Patrick Jose showing the whole game right now with his eighth point now. I'll tell you, we haven't played nine minutes. Cardinals already with 30 points on the board. Lacoco, a nice pass. They're going to call the offensive foul. Matt Stewart stepped in on the pass. Nice job by Stewie stepping in and taking that trap, taking that charge. Chase Lawson now in the current lineup. Baseball pass. pass. The top, not going to be enough. Oh, smart play by Highsmith. Oh, oh, he didn't touch it. Oh, Dougie crossed in. I'm going to see you after the game. Did we get that one on film, Bob? Yeah, he, he missed that one. I'll let him know, too, Reese. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> When you like that Buffalo Wild Wings commercial, we got a button that goes right down to him. Father Fleming could have helped. He was right Father there. Father Fleming. <laughs> he wouldn't lie. He's got the collar on. That's right. So 11-point Cardinal advantage. Kick out short. Good box out. Matt Stewart. Stewart, nice job with the rebound. Here comes Seifert in the open court. He's got two defenders turning around. Ritz, Ritz sees Elaine. Going to attack the basket and nice job of getting the defender off balance. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fritz with 15 points already. Hone down the lane. Nice pass and let him go. Hester wide open. Highsmith wasn't going to let it go, though. No, he gave it a run. He was going to challenge it. So we're at the midway mark. Cardinals with an 11-point advantage. Fritz, three Spot ball. Up. Yes. Oh, just deep. Nice job, Cardinals deflecting the ball there. Stewart, keeping it alive. Oh, going to call it on Matty Smith on the back. Yeah, Stewart. Or Matty Stewart, I mean. Stewart going to be called for the foul, and we'll head to another immediate timeout. over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports back at Willie Judge with Tom Bearbeck along with John Respect Cardinals 32 points on the board we played half of, of half number one West Liberty going with that second platoon, Reese. Yeah, boy, I tell you, they're doing wholesale substitution. We're really looking to keep the energy level up here against Willie Jesuit. Yeah. There's a three ball. Off the mark, and Mose goes up the ladder for the rebound. Yeah. Chase Lawson with the basketball. Don't get yourself caught in the corner here. Mose down the lane. And they're going to call the block. Foul going to be called on Arnold. I called it earlier <laughs> than that. Okay, yeah, Crutchfield thought he had one there. He was begging for one. That'll send Mose to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. So Cardinals now shooting with 9-19 remaining. At the line, number two, Mose. So Pat Mose now with nine points. Mose with nine, Highsmith with nine, Fritz with 15. That's all you're scoring. Not bad. <laughs> So Cardinals on top by 13. Uh, Goddard going to get called fresh into the game. Yep. 
only the uh, 15 foul on the Cardinals, so West Liberty will inbounds. Foul is on number one, Goddard, and the Goddard scores team fifth. Breach, you can't let a little 5 uh, eight guy get open under the basket. You let that happen. Arnold inside, gives the boy credit. Nice, nice move. Got a kicking violation. Second time we've seen that. And it's the second time we've seen Wheeling try to throw a bounce pass off the dribble that that's happened. Long pass down to Stewart. Highsmith. You know, uh, Lawson with a lazy pass. Yeah, Lawson with just a sloppy pass. I was just about to say, nice job by Matt Stewart pulling it out. He and Highsmith. But here's Arnold now with back to back buckets. Yeah, the little fella trying to help West Liberty back into this one. There's always some little guy from Wheeling from West Liberty that gets us in there. Yeah, seems like it. Still got nightmares about hospital. Pull that. Oh. Great Goddard there in the ball game for the Cardinals. Oh boy, that was a good look. Nice defense by West Liberty because yeah. he had Highsmith right there. Yeah, Lamberti with a nice deflection there. Just like that, here come our two leaders, Seaford and Fritz, back into the game. Along with Ritz. So 8-16 remaining, first half action. Cardinals have led throughout. Now with a nine point advantage. Inside, great in inbound play and Ritz. Well, we see them score off the inbound play a lot, don't yeah. we? That's good execution. Kyle Ritz gets the easy layup. Lamberti trying to operate. Travel, yes walk. sir. Great defense there. Pat Mose on the screen. Did a great job staying with his man, forcing that turnover. Mose with a foul line jumper. Highsmith. Clobbered, he'll go to the line for a pair. Okay, Cardinals doing a nice job on that offensive glass. They are, that'll be their fourth offensive oh, rebound here tonight. And we're seeing them get points off of those rebounds, which is even more important, really putting them back and converting. Well, that's 10 team fouls. We'll be shooting two from here on out the next eight minutes. So the line gonna be very important for Wheeling Jesuit here. So Haywood now in double yeah, figures with 10 points. I see you took care of those nets, huh? You loosened them up a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. So Hilltoppers with the basketball, down 13. Lamberti gonna attack the basket. Oh! Heisman gonna pick up his second. Don't get comfortable, Matty Stewart. Here comes Matt Stewart off the bench. Highsmith, 4-6 from the field, 1-1 for threes, 2-2 two two at the line right now, picks up his second foul, so seven rebounds already for Highsmith, so he did a yeoman's work here in the first 12 minutes of the half. Liberty coming out, relentless pressure. They're coming at him. <laughs> Fritz. Fritz was grabbed there, but you think? no harm, no foul, I guess. They didn't pull him to the floor, I guess. That's what you mean. Stewart puts it on the deck. No, true. Cool. Yeah, you can see that one coming. <laughs> we weren't the only ones. <laughs> that was a risque pass from up our vantage point. Everybody in the room was running towards the bar. Here's Seifert for three. Off the mark, Mose keeps it alive. Saves it into the back of the West Liberty bench. West Liberty gonna come back with their first unit. A little 
stop and play here. A clean up. So 7.04 on the stop clock, 11 point Cardinal advantage. Faithful with the basketball, Bonifant down yeah, the lane. He got grabbed. Nice play by Bonifant. Maybe to get secret. Got the basket. Ball number 31. Secret. His first at the line to shoot one. Bonifant. So Bonifant picks up his first hoop of the evening, or late afternoon, if you will. He gets the three in. Here comes that trap. Seifert, nice <laughs> job of trying that double team. Mose gonna take it all the way. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the third time that he has driven or he would Highsmith have a drive earlier. They have had all kind of time contact not getting that call. Deeper, trying to operate up top. Stewart, deep three ball. Off the mark. Stewart with the uh, uncharacteristic three in the corner. Longford puts it on the deck. Boy, good defense, yeah. good offense. Yeah, a little bottom. bit of momentum swing here right now. Will Jesuit has not scored in two minutes, two and a half. Searching for a little bit of offense here. Need to get something going. Fritz, a nice pass, and Stort. Stay with it. Oh, oh. tough break. Got to finish that. Got to have that one. Really yeah, trying to find that spark. Nice <laughs> block Mose. by Mose. Three ball, Seifert. There's yes. a spark for you. There's a spark. Eric Seifert with the three ball. Cardinals back on top by nine. Lococo Strip. loses the ball, stripped by Fritz. And a block, and that'll put, put Fritz at the line for a pair. He only shoots about 90%. Yeah. 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 Lococo, that'll be his second. Let's take a long walk over there to the padded seat. Some Fritz at the line for a pair. <laughs> oh, oh, missed the first one. Out, huh? I jinxed him. Chase Lawson into the game for Matt Stewart. Going a little bit smaller here. Fritz gets the second. Now 16 points. Yep. So 10 point Cardinal Vantage, 522 and rolling. He's lost and better be ready to play. The Coco with a nice take down the nice lane. Nice explosion there. Got the crease and just really went at it. Mose with a tack down the lane. Can grab. The media timeout here. We'll take our last media timeout. It's time to take a timeout. thousand NCAA student-athletes. 
and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Tom Bearbecko along with John Respect bringing you each and every Cardinal home game. Season finale, Hilltoppers number four ranked in all the land in town and right now Cardinals on top by eight. Reese, we simply need to continue to score the basketball. That's it. I, I, West Liberty is not going to stop scoring. You've got to continue to score with them. And uh, we are doing a nice job right now of finding different ways to score. We saw up front, Fritz, Haywood Highsmith, and Mose have been leading the way, but Seifert just hit a big three. Mose trying to operate a low post, up and <laughs> under. Oh, that's He's sweet. not trying to do anything. <laughs> He's that, doing it. That was sweet. Double figures for Mose. I'm telling you right now, Mose's running down the floor telling somebody, you better switch up. You can't guard me. Hone with a deep three. Simply cannot leave West Liberty uncontested on those three balls. They will knock them down. So we're near the four minute mark. Chase Lawson. Lawson first shot will down up a three. Yes, sir. Yes. Chase Lawson on Thursday night had a couple big threes that night. Been shooting the ball real well. So back to a 10 point Cardinal Vantage. Faithful going to try to. He just threw it off the back of Seaver's foot. Don't know how that possibly can be a kick. <laughs> I mean, There's I no way in the world. And, that is back turn to hit him in the. It's their ball. Yeah, when you when your ball hits the back of your heel. Oh well, it's a moot point. Westerby does have the basketball mm -hmm. and deserves it. Oh. Own spin move in the lane. Ah, uh, unfortunate off the mark. Somebody's got to stay on it. C.J. Hester, a nice foul on it, huh? And Coco going to get pushed to the floor. They always talk about war on the boards. Well. There's no doubt about it. It's not for the timid in there in the low post area. Nice hustle by both teams. So Joe Lacoco, the Shippensburg transfer. Lacoco with eight points here already tonight. Been very active. Okay, look, comes in average only a little over seven points a game, but big time scorer last year at Shippensburg at 20 points per game. A second team all PSAC performer. So. Uh, West well, Liberty got a good one when he transferred. The Mark and Seifert comes out with the rebound. You see, even off the miss, West Liberty right there, boom, into that pressure. Yeah, they uh, come after you like no other team in the country. They've made their living off that press recently. They have. It's worked well for them over the years. Rich right now shaking Rich's and bacon. Rich's going to operate, and he'll take to the hoop. And he goes all the way down. Fritz with 18 points. 11 point Cardinal advantage. Hester thought about the three. Bonifant being gloved by. No Fritz with the turn with the steal. Head to Lawson. What a beautiful pass. Lawson oh. takes it in. Beautiful job by Lawson. Switching hands, shooting the left handed layup from the right side. Hone down the lane and Hester yeah. wide open. That's just good offense. I really yeah. got themselves caught out of position in transition. And, yeah. and, Nice assist for Devin Hone. So 11 point Cardinal lead, 240 on the rolling clock in what's been a very active first half here. Fans are certainly getting their money's worth today. Fritz gonna take the baseline. Gets his arm grabbed, kicks it out to Seifert in the corner. Three Seifert. ball, three ball, Eric Seifert. Seifert now with his second three of the night. 14 point Cardinal advantage. Faithful down the lane. Nice job by Ritz securing the rebound. Under two minutes. 14 point Cardinal advantage. Well, you want to break a team, this is where you do it right here. The last two minutes of the half. Yeah. Can nice you little, extend this lead? Nice little run here would be super. Ritz down the lane. And then plenty of time here, no need to get crazy. No 15. Need to hurry, still 15 on the shot clock. See for calling for the high screen. Westlip jumps it, nice looking, ah. but pass got a little bit of weight. Faithful on the attack. 
He'll take it all the way. You know, and Seifert wisely just backed off it. No need for him to pick up a cheap second foul here. Coach Sancone. Danny Sancone's going to get a timeout. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports back at Wheeling Jesuit we still have a minute 26 to play in a long first half for a reason Woo. but Cardinals have already put 54 points on the board with the basketball and a 12 point advantage. I don't know about the players, but we might need oxygen up here in the second half. I got to apologize to the fans at home, Reese. On that one three, I shouted like I was the PA announcer, oh. but uh, that deep one from Max, Seifert. Max was sitting over here screaming one time so loud it hurt my ears. <laughs> so we're down to the final minute 15. Big possession here. I'd like to get a bucket out of this. Coming off the turnover. Just the point you want to execute your offense here in the last couple possessions, and uh, you want to take that momentum into half with you. Get some points on the board. Seifert three ball. Yeah, that'll do yes. it. Yes, that right there will take that momentum in the locker room with you. We will take that one. So, 15-point Cardinal advantage. Now they need to stop at the other end. So we're under the minute, actually under 50 seconds. Faithful going to be grabbed out front. Yeah, they're going to get first foul on Justin Fritz. Going to get Fritz. With the grab. So Indiana Faithful will go to the line. He'll have a one and one opportunity. Number 12 goes to the line. That's Faithful. The foul is on number 22, Fritz. Fritz is first. Off the mark. So, uh, got about a nine second differential on the shot clock, so Westerby will get a possession. Yeah, but expect Seifert to just kind of yeah. pound this out front and use some time. Yeah, if you're a Jesuit, you want to use up most of the shot clock. Obviously, with a 15-point advantage, you like to add even to that. Mm -hmm. Shot clock ticking down to 10. And through Seifert. There's Fritz. Fritz, three ball. Get in there. Oh, short. And Fritz ends up on his backside. Yeah. Now nothing stupid here. We're under 10 seconds. Step up. Off the mark. So we'll go to the halftime intermission. Jesuit ahead by 15. And all in all, Reese, pretty good first half of basketball. I'll tell you what, all in all, you talk about exciting. I know neither one of us said ever a loss for words, but right now my mouth's saying, you need to be quiet for a little bit. Yeah, this, so. was, uh, this was what we expected. Two teams really going at each other back and forth. and. Um, Really expect the second half to be much more of the same. Absolutely. It always takes 40 minutes to play a game of basketball. Don't go away, folks. We're going to have an entertaining second half. You're watching Wheeling Jesuit University basketball on the Cardinal cast. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports great location history workforce innovation is that what you think of when you hear the words Wheeling West Virginia well here's the real legacy of Wheeling we were the first gateway to the West. We became a hub of the Industrial Revolution. 
We help build the steel industry on our river, the coal industry in our hills. We became a haven for business innovation and some of the wealthiest business developers on the planet. Wheeling, West Virginia helped move the country forward. And what about now? There's a new Wheeling, one that's inviting to new and growing companies and creating jobs. It's a whole new approach, an innovative transition from an industrial-centered economy to one that brings together the best in low overhead economic development, one that's attracting businesses with a global reach, creating new offices out of structures long forgotten, building a new energy sector revolution, and a thriving high-tech hub, a city that has turned a declining riverfront into a vibrant landmark building resorts and parks on iconic areas while maintaining historic integrity, developing empty hillsides, lots, and fields into retail, educational, and healthcare destinations, reducing tax burdens, and nurturing both small and large businesses. Once again, Wheeling is innovating, transforming, and most of all, inviting the world to live, work, and play in one of the safest cities in the U.S. What is it about this Wheeling metro area that's so inviting? Take a moment and explore. Wheeling does offer a pro-business environment, but also a pleasing blend of history, culture, fine dining, metropolitan features found both here and in our neighboring cities, outdoor recreation, and annual festivals, all guaranteed to provide you with true American hospitality. Wheeling is a riverfront city where the bluegrass meets jazz, blues, rock, and our own symphony. We are the heart of a vibrant metropolitan tri-state area with neighboring Ohio and Pennsylvania, a region of over more than 200,000 people making us culturally alive and diverse. Located on the I-70 corridor between Pittsburgh and Columbus, Wheeling is home to a safe, comfortable lifestyle with big city amenities not found in most small towns, including Broadway shows and the historic Capitol Theater. That's why so many are saying we offer more. More accessibility, more centralized location, more cost savings for business, more fun with museums, shopping, nightlife, and a huge music scene. More restaurants, offering everything from our own brand of fish and our own style of pizza, to great local eateries and fine gourmet dining. More development and growth, a revitalized riverfront, unique shopping at our center market, and the Highlands. State-of-the-art government buildings, global operations centers, casinos, resorts, more technology, more excellent schools more excellent health care, more sports, like our own pro hockey team, the Wheeling Nailers, and a short ride to the Pittsburgh Steelers, Penguins, and Pirates. And to top it off, Wheeling is more appealing, recognized as one of the most livable small metros in the country. It all adds up to an energetic and welcoming city. Modern, progressive, and moving forward again, so now you know. Go ahead, enjoy the Wheeling Metro. Move yourself or a business here. Find a site and start or grow a company here. Explore our excellent funding sources and tax incentives. Learn about our business resources and live in the comfort, safety, and low-cost environment right here in the center of America. Wheeling, a city that's growing, transforming, innovating, inviting, and a city dedicated to making things happen for you. I'm John Corbett, and Wheeling is the place I call home. Thank you. 
There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. It's halftime at Wheeling Jesuit. Cardinals 57, West Liberty 42. Tom Bear Beckel along with John Reesbeck and uh, some nice 
numbers on that stat sheet, Reese. Well, I tell you what, let's start with uh, West Liberty shooting 50% from the field, 16 of 32, 5 of 11 from the three-point line. Led right now by Hone with 10 points, Lococo with nine, a handful of guys at five. Real Jesuit, 58% from the field, third, 20 of 34. Led by Fritz with 18, Mose with 12, and Highsmith with 11. So uh, looking forward to another high energy up and down the second half here. And uh, let's see what Wheeling can do with this 15 point lead. Cardinals, eight of 14, 57% from beyond the arc. Fritz had three of those, Seifert had three. So we're just about set for a second half action here. What's been a very entertaining basketball game. One of the best you're gonna see in the Mountain East Conference. Great game for a season finale. Can Wheeling come out with that same intensity they had here in the first half? Devin Hone with a nice drive to the basket. Jesuit had eight turnovers in the first half, West 79, that's gonna obviously one of the keys. Seifert. They just need to continue to do a great job of handling that pressure, Reese. Sure do. You gotta execute and continue to score on the offensive end, right? You said it at the end of the first half. Yeah, it's probably who gets the hunter first wins this game. Yeah, West Liberty will not stop scoring. Let's be real honest. And here's Ice Smith had to sit with the bump, no shot. Well, unfortunately, had to yeah. sit with the full foul trouble in the first half after getting off hot, and they go right back at him here. Yeah, and he's a tough matchup for any of those oh. Hilltoppers in low. And it's a tough matchup for anybody. Cardinals need to continue getting the basketball. Fritz, who had a great first half with 18 points already on the board. Needs to continue that. Five assists. I tell you, Fritz was just all oh, his defense was tremendous. Fritz just really had his A game in the first half, and let's hope he can bring that here. Nice job by the Cardinals there. Yeah, beautiful give and go. Two-man game here. Seifert lays it off for an easy bucket. That basket was for Tim Kogan. He said we need to get Ritz in the offense. <laughs> Wandering around at halftime, ran into uh John Boswell, if you remember, John played a couple years here with John and, uh, and Chris Guyo, former, former Cardinal. Former Cardinals. Seifert on the run. Oh, that's Seifert, ill by shot, but. Uh, Hayson Highsmith in there, and look at Ritz. Nice steal by Kyle Ritz. Ritz. Right in, it takes it off him. Ritz came to play here in the second half. Cardinals on top by 17. Hone all the way to the hoop. Well, Hone shows his ability now to yeah. get to the bucket. Devin now with 14, and I'll tell you, really impressed with that youngster's ability to take it to the glass. Cardinals looking for the advantage here. Jose out in front handles it. Yeah, kind yeah. of just, yeah. yeah. Just slow down. Not the shot we want there. Now Coach Sancom saying he got bumped. I mean, yeah, he and might, he did. He might have, but he needs to slow down just a little bit. Bonifant. You can't let him get started. Seeger was quiet in the first half. Cronos right now struggling to get it in. Five second call here. So West Liberty forces the five count. Yeah, what you don't want to do is let them get a run going. That's where they make their living. Yep. The best way to stop that is to come down on this end and score. Yep. Seifert. Mugged, raped, yep. loses the ball. Can't get a whistle there. That's just too easy and a quick timeout for Coach Shanko. thousand NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Back at the McDonough Center, 17-23, second half. 
West Liberty trying to up the tempo. Yeah, good time out there by Coach Sankum. Settle things down. We've been struggling on the offensive end. Just don't seem to have that rhythm going right this minute. And uh, five second call down here, so get things settled down. The, the beautiful thing is you're looking up at a 10 point lead still for Wheeling Jesuit. Fritz. Oh, jeez. I broke his own ankles. And Hayward Highsmith. Highsmith with the long three ball. I think Kyle Ritz might have got a piece of that yeah, one for the box definitely. side. Definitely. Nice job by Ritz contesting that shot. Ritz, deep three. Up. Oh, off the mark. Follows it. Nope. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ritz literally gets forearm shivered. Game getting a little rough right now. Yeah. Bonifant settles Bonifant. it down. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Fritz uh, got the short end of that deal. Not sure it was a foul race, but uh, heavy contact. Well, I think oh, and he just got knocked. I, say, I think once you extend the arm, it's a foul. It's one thing to yeah. get run into, but when yeah, you extend the arm in the push. And Seifer just got knocked down. Coco going to pick up his third foul. So. Coco picks up his third. <laughs> I'll tell you, <laughs> well, Faith, Faithful needs to get a saddle. I mean, that's ridiculous. The ball hadn't been in inbounds. <laughs> Seaver's trying to move. Faithful just stepping inside his shorts with him. Good job by Seifert. I love that Seifert tries to move, almost yeah. gets pulled to the ground, and the yeah. crowd goes wild and thinks yeah. he, he did yeah. something wrong. Faithful went for the takedown on that one. Fritz, beautiful oh. shot, but off the mark. Jeez, Mose comes over the top, almost hurts himself. Lococo in the corner. Bonifant. Yeah. We got an eight-point game here. Let's Liberty has cut this lead. Mose going to get called on the push. Freshman getting a little bit frustrated there. Yeah, good job by Eric Seifert. Uh, Bringing them together, settle them down. Want to put short. They're going to say Ritz had a hand on the ball while he was out of bounds. Might have been the best outcome of there. Bonifant fouled the act of shooting. Well, Sifa for Sifa, that's going to be his second. Right now, Jesuit needs to weather this momentum swing. Yeah, big momentum swing. Really needs to come down the other side here and find that spark. And quite frankly, I think the guy wearing number 22 down here for Wheeling needs to be that spark. Absolutely. You know, he was hot in the first half. Missed his first shot here in the second half, but we need to get him going again, get the ball back in his possession. So back to within six, West Liberty with a nice run in the early going here. There we go, Justin Fritz two. gonna attack, he'll take it all the way. Yeah, off the mark. And those are the shots we were making in the first half, yeah. not going right now. Off, and here's Seifert, he gets mugged from behind. <laughs> Lococo, that'll That's be, be his four. So West Liberty will come with their second unit. Jeez, I mean, he had to hold it, Mosey's jersey. I guess that's to be expected. Uh -huh. Tenacious defense, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, that's just a bad, bad pass, pass Dawson. That's just forcing the situation. Wow. Yes, wow. sir. Great defense, Hayward Highsmith. 
So the crowd's starting to get into it a little bit here. Fans from West Liberty a little excited. 15-13, we got plenty of basketball to play. Yeah, we only has not scored in about two minutes here. Do not have those kind of lapses when you're playing West Liberty. Mose with the basketball. He's got to give that up. He's got to know when to give it up. We got a four-point ball game here. And there's oh, Lambert Lambert going to pick up the foul. So we'll get a much needed media timeout here. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports Point half time deficit down to four, and what do the Cardinals need to do, Reese? Really need to settle down. And what we're seeing is this is the, that feeding frenzy we kind of talk about with West Liberty. They get things going, and you start trying to play faster than you're used to normally, and you start seeing bad things happen, and that's when they capitalize. We saw with Patrick Mose there gets in the open court, got to give the ball up, gets run down from behind for the quick turnover, and we've just seen, you know. Too many, too many things like that, and, we, and, and West Lib really feeds off of that momentum. So we need to run some good offensive sets, score some points, and uh, extend this lead back out. But look, you knew it wasn't going to be easy. The first time around yeah. was great. First half was great, but you know West Liberty is a good ball club. They're not going to go away quietly. Yeah, they're number four in the nation for a reason. Yeah, you're going to have to earn it. And uh, and again, oh my God. Seeper tries to go down the lane and just gets mugged, mugged. So Lombardi gonna be at the charity strike. That foul was on Kyle Ritz's second. And again, Wheeling has not scored now in almost three minutes. Again, you just cannot have those kind of lapses when you're playing with Liberty. That'll kill you. And we've seen it. Look at a two-point game now. But really, somebody's going to have to step forward here on the offensive end and take control. Nice step through. Lawson, three ball. Stewart. Matt Stewart. Great rebound by Matt Stewart in the follow-up. That's how you go in and rebound the ball right there. Liberty making a run. Foul, yes sir. Absolutely. There's a foul. Yeah, you got the ball because you grabbed his left arm. And if it hasn't already been done, it's starting to heat up here, folks. <laughs> Fifteen foul on West Liberty, so you know much that same pattern we've seen. Free throw shooting could become real important here shortly. And you've got to control yourself, Hayward Osmond. There, you've got to control yourself.
Right now, things getting a little, uh, a little out of hand. Who'd they tee up? What happened? Ah, Smith. So he picks up the personal foul and the tee. So he now has four. So at 13:37 here, this game has gotten a lot closer, and uh, it's gonna be an interesting 13 and a half minutes. Tim Goff gonna make an appearance now. Tim got hurt at the Fairmont game. Came back uh, Thursday night was his first appearance back, I believe, against West Virginia State. Tim, a high energy guy though. So 13-35, Wheeling clean to a one point lead. Arno with the free ball. Sipa is going to pick up his three ball. Yeah, nice hustle play by Kirkbride. <laughs> so West Liberty now with the lead. Well, just like that, Wheeling Jesuit with 16 fouls. It's Liberty with their first lead since about the first minute of the game. Here's Mose on the run. Fouled hard. Oh. oh. Wheeling, who has not scored since the 14.09, so another minute. Joe gets a kind roll here. So 13.08, we're knotted up. West Liv is going to come back with their first unit. Quite frankly, could be the best thing that happened for Wheeling Jazz, but that unit there was yeah. pretty fired up. I was just going to say that the last time they re entered the first unit. Jazz was done a better job <laughs> against the press against this unit. Jose gets Wheeling back on top. Seesaw game here, 13.07 on the running clock. Everything you'd expect the West Liberty Wheeling game to be and a little bit more. Faithful on the dribble. Tim Goff, nice job cutting, cutting the dribble path off. Now you've got to help there. You can't just step back out of the way. Again, for Wheeling, got to settle down, get back to doing the things that got you a lead in the first place. As I say that, Justin Fritz gets up off the bench. Secret three ball. Long. Turn, turn. Lococo pull up. Off the mark, and here's Jose with the rebound. Get the ball to Seifert. Lost and underneath. Nice oh, move. Uses the bounce beautifully. <laughs> so the Cardinals back on top as we hit the 12 minute mark. Bonifant. What's he calling? They're calling a block. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not even close. And then they had a discussion about it. Well, the underneath ref had the charge, let's face it. And they give it up to the guy in the middle, and this guy. This guy's awful. Next call he gets right will be his first. And that's, that's not fair to the other two officials. Wow. Off the, off the mark. Goff out, Fritz back in the game. Justin Fritz, who has not scored after 18 points in the first half. Let's see if he can get that spark going again. And we got a knotted up game at 
Mosaic takes it all the way. And quite frankly, Lococo is a better matchup for, for Mose because of the size. When Arnold's in the game, he's a little bit smaller and it gives Mose fits. Again, oh, again, he's standing. He has a right to that spot. I'd like to say everything you'd hope for in a yeah. Jesuit West Liberty game, but I liked it a lot more when it was a 15 point lead. I hear you. Modded back up at 72. 11.30 left. Dritz ahead with the ball. And Stewart calling for it down low. Jose, and he's got a little the push. push yeah, absolutely. Come on, Chase. Oh, ah. Chase. Offensive, yes, sir. All right. Jose down there. He took an elbow right in the chop. Yeah. In all fairness, I don't believe faithful. There was nothing intentional. He was yeah. turning. Yeah, he was just trying to clear some space. And, uh, now they're going to say it wasn't flagrant. Because of the elbow to the face, that may be an automatic flagrant. Yeah. And an elbow into the facial area, whether intentional or not, yeah. should register for two in the, in the ball. Of course, at this level, you do not have a TV review, so. The three officials are talking about it right now. And uh, it looks like it's just going to be simply a foul. I hate to admit it, but I tend to agree with that. Yeah, you know, I'm that a play where nothing was thrown. In fact, yeah. his arms were in. Yeah, I don't I don't think faithful meant anything by it. Unfortunately, on a D1 level, he'd probably be sitting he, on a side. He probably right. would. That, absolutely yeah. right. They would have reviewed that and yeah. said absolutely. Not to say that rule is fair, though, but. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Faithfully had no intention there. Whoa. Justin Fritz, <laughs> a little shaky ball, huh? Holds so 11-11 left in this one. Lawson, three ball. Oh, off the mark, and we're on King off score here in the second half. <laughs> Lester with the easy bucket. Ten forty, rolling clock. Seifert with a pull up, off the mark, loose ball. Chase Lawson, Lawson nice who has shot. been active, goes right at him and scores. A nice muscle play by Chase Lawson. We're knotted up. Chase Lawson bringing some of that energy we only need right now. Active with the hands. Bonifant for a nice trip down the lane. Yeah, he's a factor tonight. That's a big difference, Reese. Yes, he is, especially here in the second half. Now with uh, 16, 18 points. 18 points. We held him in check up West Liberty, but not so much tonight. So, the guy scores 24 a game. Yeah, he's he, going to get his points. He's an All-American for a reason. Hey, Fritz. Somehow finds a way inside. Can't finish, but here. Kyle Ritz, Ritz. A nice he's bumped play. and he scores. A nice hustle play by Kyle Ritz, and that was all determination. So we'll take a well-deserved media timeout. God, my heart can't take it. over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports.
there are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Things have actually settled down because I tell you what, they were losing control there for a minute. Yeah. So we're knotted up. 9.38 to go. Ritz gives Jesuit the lead once again. Yeah, Ritz can, completes the three-point play, and I'll tell you, the thing that made me happy on that play was Justin Fritz getting to the iron there, taking that shot, get him back in this game. And there's Sifa with a block from behind. Great. Loose ball going to stay, but yeah, great defensive help. with the deep three ball. Short. Ah, he's got to get that rebound. Nice assist there by home. Jeez. He tackled it. <laughs> Here's a defensive play, a high-low. Huh? Double Run the old roadblock on him. Yeah, they double-teamed him and knocked him to the ground. But no call. No call. Love it. Ritz in tight. Nice little spin move. Ah. Well, can't get the move. Yeah. South off Mose came away with it. About time maybe to bring Hayward Highsmith back in, make a little run. Faithful with a wraparound and uh, Chase Lawson with the block. Faithful steps back. Seafood. Mug. Oh, and say. he's gonna go to the line. He didn't get the ball. He's on the floor again. <laughs> Be three on Hester now. One one. Make the long walk. Well, Reese, this is all you'd want in a basketball game, and 78-77 uh, is a pretty good score. We still got eight minutes to go. <laughs> just, yeah, eight, eight, eight and a half to go. Eight and a half to go. Whew. <laughs> The young man's game, because I'm exhausted. They yeah. still look like they got plenty, but I'm exhausted. I don't know if this old heart's going to take it, Reese. And there he comes. Hayward Highsmith back in the game. With those four fouls, had to settle him down there after the technical. And, yeah, uh, unfortunately, that T really hurt him big time because uh, he lost some valuable minutes. I think this is one of those times where you say you just got to go in and play hard, nothing stupid, and uh, see what we can get out of him. But, boy, such an impact he had in the first half. Seifert gets the second. Cardinals back as we seesaw back and forth. West Liberty now going with that second unit. Well, this team really got them back in the game. Yeah. I mean, this unit, you know, brought a lot of energy and created a lot of controversy, but uh, got them back in the game. There's Drake Goddard. Smith going to take it all the way and force the action. Nice rejection by Ritz. I mean, nice defense. Oh, here's Fritz. Pull up three. Yes, three sir. Justin Fritz. Cardinals back on top by four. Fritz with his first bucket in the second half. Jesuit trying to get a little momentum going here. Couldn't Now's have, the time to make hay, Reese. Couldn't have come at a better time, huh? Arnold oh. is going to be called. Fritz is going to pick up the touch foul. Only two on Fritz, but that will send Arnold to the line for a 1-1. One -one. Brady Arnold. Arnold getting credit, sneaks in there and almost steals the rebound. That's the problem. Took two seconds off the shot clock. Well. 
Craig Goddard. They go see but now they have numbers for Elon Jesuit. Seaford in the lane. Oh, in and out, but look at Hayward Hosmith. Ritz with the rebound. And yes, the sir. So Cardinals with a six point advantage. And you said it earlier, that's all about effort right there. How Ritz doing a yeoman job on the board. Had a couple key putbacks. Cardinals need a stop here. Good defense by it. Ritz inside. Cardinals come out with the basketball. Well, and you wanted Ritz involved. He's got nine here in the second half. There's Tim Kogan. Give Shout that man a cigar. He made the call. Shout out to Timmy. Ritz going to take it in. And Count. Come oh. on. <laughs> Ritz with a great job of getting to the hoop. He knew he was beat, just reached out and grabbed it. Yeah, that's borderline intentional. Double bonus here. Yeah. Tell you the great thing, we got guys from Baltimore listening, getting a hold of me. Jim Stabber <laughs> and John Book over there getting a hold of me. Guys in North Carolina, Trey McDonald that played here. That's great. Justin Ryan that played here. Lucas Matlock that played here. Shout out to Trey, one of my favorite Cardinals. Of course, you're on that list too. Uh, Reece, I was so. going to say, I'll tell you what, yeah. him being on anybody's favorite <laughs> list is probably real short. <laughs> I hear you, brother. Hayward and Highsmith with the length. Cardinals throw the basketball. Fritz kicks it back out. Three ball, Seifert. Off the mark. But again, again Highsmith inside. Reese, I think at this stage of the game, real crucial. We can get it out to a double-digit advantage. Might put a little dagger into West Liberty. Oh, uh -huh, West Liberty thinking, man, we made our run. What do we got to do with these guys? Jesuit, no sense of urgency here. Take care of the basketball. You know, you want to get this bucket here going into the media timeout. We know there's going to be a delay in action. And there it is, a horse collar. In the NFL, that can get you kicked out of the game. Yep, 24 Lamberti's going to pick up the foul. 6.07 remaining. West Liberty is going to come with their first unit. He's, somebody check him for a concussion. His eyes are right because he was way off there. Wide right, as they'd say in the NFL, Reese. Uh-huh. Wide right. After the horse collar, I'm not surprised. So meanwhile, back on the floor, we're going to play a little basketball. Goddard with the second attempt. Gets it. Somebody just telling me, you know, Drake's had some shoulder problems as well, so part of that could be that. Pat Mose returns for the Cardinals. 6.07, nine point Cardinal advantage. Justin Fritz, pound on the floor, wants to play a little defense here. Yeah, Pat really Mose back in the game. Cardinals need to dig in deep on the defensive end. Bonifant, faithful in the lane, turn around, throws it up, won't up get down. Out. Cardinals with the rebound. Each possession becoming a little more valuable here for the Cardinals. You want to milk some clock and get a score. Fritz wants a shot in the worst way right yeah, now. He's going to get one. He's staying patient, but he wants one in the worst way. Seifert tries the three. Just long off the back iron. Right, pulled down by Lococo. It's twice now. His last two shots have both been a hair deep. Skip pass. Bonifant Bonifant in the, the corner. corner. Buries it. And you cannot leave that guy open. Shoots 50% from beyond the arc and uh, big time shooter. So back to within six, 504. Don't go away, folks. We got a great one going on. Jose handling at the top. Like I said, like to get a score going into the Lococo. Cannot foul. Nice job by Seifert taking advantage of it. Again, how many times have we seen Seifert do that? The ability to score in the paint. Big possession going into the media timeout. 
Lococo with a nice well, pass. A nice pass to Hester. I'll tell you, Hester just hangs around the basket. I would say that's about the third time that's happened, and that's going to lead us to the time out there. Yeah, Thought so you had that net fixed. No. over 400,000 NCAA student-athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. thousand NCAA student athletes and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. We missed uh just got a message from Ricky Yawn was in the house down here doing some recruiting. He should have stopped up and said hi. Absolutely. One of my you talk about all time favorites Ricky Yawn one of oh, those yeah. guys. Well, he's a central boy he's got to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of them out there between him, Justin Ryan, and uh, Trey McDonald. Absolutely. Tommy Burgoyne was back in town a few weeks ago celebrating 20 years since the state championship. Absolutely. My man Joe Donzella played here a couple years before, he be, before we decided to become a doctor, Reese. Oh, my doctor. Come on, Patrick. I'm going to have to go see him here in a little <laughs> bit. This keeps up. He's dead. This is a bow. This is a pair. Cardinals need to rely on that defense. Hone with a nice. Yeah, nice cut off by Kyle Ritz on the help there. So. 4 2 on the clock. Who's it going to be? Who's going to make the plays? Look at this matchup. Monafon backing him down. Yeah, he gets that little turnaround. Tough matchup. Phil Bonifant has come up huge now with 23 points. Let's so it's out. a four-point Cardinal advantage, 345. And each and every possession becomes more valuable. Let's take this down here to almost three minutes, 20 seconds on the shot clock still. Jose will take it in and, oh, gets his own rebound. Ah, Ritz almost had another one. Boy, I don't know how we didn't come out with that one. I'm not sure I'm crazy about pushing that shot there. Faithful with a trip down the lane and. Off the mark. Oh, Seifert oh. comes over the top. Thought he had a good rebound from the back, but Hester's going to go to the line for a pair. Coach Sancombe is livid. So C.J. Hester, who has come up big also. Got a lot of key hoops around the basket. He'll have a pair. Short on the first one. Coach Sancom says, grab the ball. It's not quite what he said, but I cleaned it up for the kids. <laughs> so Hester gets the second. That's a one possession game here. Toppers back to win three. 315, running clock. Seifert walking it up the floor. Again, you're in that, that careful position. You want to use some clock, but you want to keep the flow of your offense. And here's Fritz, Fritz left open. three ball. Oh, oh, off the mark. Hester with a rebound. Defense, 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 defense. 
Lester with the drive. Oh. Pat and Jose, boy, what defense. Cutting off the baseline, out to the top here. Big finish by Faithful with the left yeah, hand. Nice take by Indiana Faithful. We got a one point game, two and a half left, clock running. Wheeling needs a possession, needs a score, and they're going to get a timeout. Timeout, Wheeling Jesuit. We'll take a break. Thank you. There are over 400,000 NCAA student-athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. So 2.22 remaining this one. Tom Beckle along with John Respect in what's been a very exciting game throughout. West Liberty, the number four ranked team in the country, has fought all the way back, and we're going to the wire, folks. We've seen a few of these going to extra time over the years. Here's Mose down in the post. Mose going to operate in the low post. He'll take it up. And he's he's going to foul, foul LaCocca out of the game. Yeah, LaCocca going to take the walk to the bench. Yes, everybody's got their hands up, but guess what? Yeah, guess what, boys, it's a foul. Yeah, learn that position. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be in it one day. <laughs> so, Pat Four. Mose will go to the line for a pair. 2-0-2. Jose stepping to the line, six of eight here tonight. Jose now with 17 points. So Jose gets the second one. Cardinals back on top by three. Two minutes and rolling. Now Jose pounding the floor. Ready to go to work on the defensive end. Bonafide. Just so strong in there. That little hook shot yeah, is almost it. indefensible. I mean, once yeah. he catches it there. Yeah, 25 points for Bonafont, and uh, you can't allow him to catch it that low, Reese. No, yeah, once That's he catches. said and done. Uh, once he makes that catch, you're, you're as good as done. Yeah. I mean, he's going to make that little turnaround. Yeah. You can't block it. Easier said than done. So it's a one-point Cardinal advantage, 138. They'll come up and move to the ball. Jose brings it around. Look for Fritz and now Seifert back to the top of the point here. Danny Ten Central seconds. Falling out the play. And spread it out. Here comes Fritz. Seifert with a three ball. It's sure. blocked. Fritz got to get it up. Got to get it up. Seifert three ball at the buzzer. Draws iron. Does not. Yeah. Well, we got one minute left here. 91-90. West Liberty bringing the ball up the court. Hone gives West Liberty the lead, 92-91. What's the problem? It's got to be something with the clock. Yeah. You had to see something with the clock. They put 1.9 seconds on the clock. It was 48-8, it's back to 50.7. 92, 91, 50 seconds on the clock. Wheeling Jazz will bring the ball up the court, trailing by a point. Timeout, Cardinals. What do you say we take a timeout? We're gonna stay right here, <laughs> talk our way through this last 45 seconds here. Coach Sancom calls timeout. It'll be Wheeling ball on the wing, near side of the court. 
of course, race all you want, really. You're in the final minute of play. You got a chance to win it, and uh, you need to execute in this last final minute. Yeah, you absolutely do. We saw what somebody do it on this side, come down, get the bucket, and now Wheeling Jesuit needs an answer here. I'll look for that quick shot. We'll soon probably have Fritz bring the ball in, as we've talked about before. The guy bringing the ball in, oftentimes the most dangerous guy in up on the play. So let's see if we can get something out of the, out of the inbounds. Both teams with 10 fouls, so any foul from here on out is going to be a double bonus. Tell you, no one's left the gym. It's packed, and uh, people have certainly got their money's worth today. Oh. So 45.3 seconds remaining. Crowd for both teams getting up, making some noise, trying to get everybody going this last minute. So Jesuit with the basketball. And a little cat and mouse game going on. Coach Jimmy Crossfield will get a timeout. He's going to take a 30-second 30, 30 timeout, so we're going to stay here. I was just reminded that uh, some 23 years ago, in a big game like this, we had a streaker run across the court. Now, it wouldn't have been in this gym, in the old gym. You remember that? No, I don't. Reese, when did uh, that happen? I want to say it was in 1991. Oh, my goodness. You know, I vaguely do. I, I think I didn't actually see the streak, though. I know who it was, but I hate to, I hate to say his name it's on a, the air. Well, he's a grown man now. Huh? We'll, we'll, I think the uh, statute of limitations has ran out on that huh? one, Reese. Huh? He, oh, he'd be proud of himself, too. Oh, Paul, right? Paul Dillon, one of the rugby players, right? came out of the locker room wearing a pair of black Chuck Taylors and a ski mask. I do. I do remember that. Now you say that. Out the door, jumped in a getaway car, and took off. <laughs> I remember I was walking down the bench and just come out of the game, and I went, what in the world is that? Of course, that was a big fad back then. Right, right. Thankfully, one has long since passed. So we're back to action here. 45 seconds. Cardinals trail by one. <laughs> Here we go, Seifert up top. Jose puts it on the deck, spins. Jose. Foul. Oh, Doesn't get go, in. but he'll step to the line get for a pair. There. <laughs> Pat Mose with a nice liberate move, and I'll tell you, this freshman's had an outstanding campaign, but uh, certainly one of his good efforts here tonight. I'll tell you what, if I am any coach in the MEC right now, I'm afraid of this guy for the next three years. And uh, C.J. Hester fouls out, so. Obviously, that could be a factor if we go into overtime. Yeah, it sure could. Hester with 14.7 uh, rebounds here tonight. Coach Crutchfield's going to get another timeout. We talk scenario 37.2 seconds. So regardless of what happens, Wheeling Jesuit should get a possession with, a, with some amount of time. Yeah. I'm sure Coach Crutchfield talking about scenarios right now. If, we're, if, we, if he misses both and we have the lead, if he makes one and we're tied, you know, if we're sure. down, it's going to change in every scenario. So uh, let's see what Pat Mose can do. Step into the line, 8 of 10 here tonight so far. Yeah, in a one-point game, obviously, many, many situations, many scenarios that can be covered in that, uh, in that huddle, and this is where coaches earn their money. So, indeed, it was a 30-second timeout. You know, for real, the interesting thing is, do you all of a sudden throw a press at him right here? Cause a little confusion. You know, if you come out of the miss and yeah. jump them in a press here and see what happens. So 37.2, Cardinals trail by one. Pat Mose at the line for a pair. <laughs> Jose misses the first, and the referee's under here waving his arms. Jose misses the first. Needs one to tie. Jose he gets, gets the second one, so we're all tied up. Knotted up at 91, 35 and a half seconds, just about a two different two second differential. Yeah, not even quite two, so Westlip can't hold for the last shot. Twenty seconds. Push that kid saying push up, push yeah. up. Yeah, West Liberty's going to be willing to go for the last shot here. Well, yeah, I'd high drive. Why wouldn't you, right? Don't really blame him. Ten seconds. Got a... Oh, wow. 
Faithful 0 for 1 here tonight from the line. We'll step to the line for a pair. This might be to our advantage, Reese. We hit the three at the buzzer to win it. Well, it's going to give us six and a seven and a half seconds. Coach Sancombe can't believe the call. Fritz coming off the screen, and they're going to call him for the push. I'm being, I'm being corrected all over social media here that Set. the streaker was in 93, that it was actually the last win game at the McDonough Center. Is that right? So I've had that sent to me and confirmed. You were so, close, huh? <laughs> so a little update there on the streaker. A little education. Well, here we go. Both teams coming back out to the floor. Faithful going to step to the line. Faithful with seven points here tonight. Oh, one at the free throw line so far. He'll have a pair. So we're knotted up at 92. 7.6 seconds remaining. Indiana Faithful will have a pair. Uh, he gets the first. One point advantage right now. So you got to believe Will and Judge are going to put the ball in the hands of Eric Seifert. The question is, who takes that shot? Is it Fritz for a three? Is it Mose going to the bucket? <laughs> There's Liberty with a substitution. That, though, that, said, that stops the game and allows them to yeah. set up their press. So two point. Cardinals need to hurry. Seifert. How about a foul? And that's it. Santa, I'm going crazy. Cannot believe there was no call. 94-92, West Liberty escapes with the win here. Yes. Top break there, Reese. You know, Seifert goes to the hoop, contact. And unfortunately, no whistle was forthcoming, so. No, no call after a ticky tack foul down here coming off the corner. Yeah, so Cardinals going to suffer a tough loss. West Liberty advances to 25 and 2, 20 and 2 in the Mountain East Conference. Jesuit falls to 19 and 9, 14 and 8, and uh, Reese, just simply a tough loss. Boy, you know, a game that uh, up 15 at halftime that you had control of. Credit West Liberty obviously come out and make the run in the second half and really just not able to answer here late in the game. Yeah, give credit to West Liberty. They're an outstanding squad, and uh, their second unit really did the effort there, bringing them back. But uh, all in all, great ball game, great turnout, great afternoon. Now it's getting ready for tournament time, Reese. Tournament time. I was going to say, this will be it for us, right? Yeah, well, we may have a game next week, although it looks like we'll be a first-round bye. Looks, it looks like we'll have a first-round bye, I would guess, Thursday night in Charleston. Yeah, so, uh, and hopefully the Cardinals can get down to the tournament, make a little noise. And that NCAA tournament bid, Still uh, out there for the reach, let's hope, huh? Yeah, still out there. 13 of 15 uh, win, you know, thir one 13 of the last 15 games. Now 19 and nine overall, and uh, can't say enough. Tremendous season for Coach Sancom with a, with a young team, just two juniors on the team, a bunch of freshmen and sophomores. Uh, injury plagued, but they have fought and fought hard, and this game epitomized that. And uh, we'll go into the conference tournament and see what we can do. Yeah, tough, uh, tough one for the Cardinals here today, but. Uh, Still some basketball season we played. MEC tournament forthcoming. We're so glad you can join us each and every Cardinal home game. On behalf of Don Watson, John Respect, this is Tom Bearbeckel saying good night and God bless.